Jesus was teaching about the kingdom of God. He said, what can I give you as an example of what the kingdom of God is like? In the distance, he noticed a farmer sowing seed in his field. So Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who sows seed in his field. As the farmer threw out the seed, some of it landed on the path. The ground here was very hard, and the seed just lay on the surface. Before long, the birds flew down and gobbled up the seed that was on the path, and it was gone before it even had a chance to start growing. Some of the seed fell on ground that was full of stones and rocks. This seed started to grow really quickly. It looked great to begin with. But the stony ground meant that the seed couldn't put down roots. And when the hot sun came out, it scorched the story mode. Without enough water from the soil, it didn't have to shrivel up and die. And multiply Christian church in all of Florida. Some of the seed fell amongst the weeds and thorns. This seed did even better to begin with. It was growing really well. But the weeds grew too and started to choke the plants so as they couldn't grow properly. But thankfully, there was some seed that landed in good soil. This ground was soft, it had no stones and no weeds, and here the seed grew really well. When the farmer came back to harvest his crop, he was pleased to see that his seed had grown brilliantly. It looked like this year was going to be a lovely harvest after all. Jesus explained this parable to his disciples. He said, the seed is the word of God, and it's freely given to all. But some are hard-hearted. They don't let God's word in, and very quickly it is taken away before it's even started to grow. Others are quick to respond, but they don't even have a shadow of it. When the rain gets tough, they quickly give up. Still others starve them, but then the things of the world overtake them. And their faith gets choked and dies. But then, there are those who persevere. They keep going through the hard times, and they don't let the things of the world overtake them. Through perseverance, these people produce a faith that grows and grows. Anybody tell me what was going on in that story? What was happening? Or Jacob? For educational purposes. Yeah, there was a farmer. He was planting some seeds, right? And some, the first group of seeds fell on the path and the birds ate them. Mm -hmm. What happened to the second group of seeds? Jason. Yeah, so the second part, the second group of seeds fell in the rocks. And if the seeds fall in the rocks, they don't grow very well, do they? No. That's right. And then the third group of seeds, they fell among the things that kind of looked like carrots, but they were supposed to be thorns. So if uh, seed, nice seeds, fall among the thorns and all the other weeds that choke out the seeds, then they can't grow either, right? Because the weeds kind of take their sunlight. But the fourth group of seeds, did you see that? At the end? Yeah, it grew into what? Did you see that? And yeah, it grew nicely into nice corn. Made a nice harvest, right? Yeah? So this parable is all about how we can share God's story with other people. Sometimes you share God's story with other people. But yes, Jason. We can talk about that in a little bit, okay? But those come from farming. 
comes to you, right? Mm -hmm. That is right. So the first group of seeds, the ones that were eaten by the birds, sometimes we tell people God's story and they kind of see it, but they get distracted with other things. Sometimes we tell people God's story and when things start getting hard and life starts getting hard, they kind of decide they don't want to follow God's story anymore. And then sometimes when we tell God's story, we spread God's story, it falls among thorns and other people that give them ideas that aren't really a part of God's story, and then they turn it up. But sometimes when we share God's story, people really listen, and they hear what you're saying, and they really want to know God too. And that's that beautiful coin that rose up. All of those people, they tell God's story a lot of times. People are going to listen and accept God's story as their own. So, if you guys can open your challenge envelope today, see what's in there. 